we're going to be expanding from vertex form again, and this time we're going to be dealing with fractions. So here's our quadratic, y equals one-third, x minus five all squared plus four. Looking at the quadratic, f at x equals x squared, if we want to look at the translations involved, there it is in function form, one-third, f at x minus five plus four, and if I just plot that, there it is. It's shifted to the right five, it's moved up four, and it's shrunk vertically by a factor of one-third. So there's what the transformations look like when we apply them to the quadratic. So, here we go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to apply the exponents. Well, of course. So this becomes y equals one-third, and x minus five all squared is just x minus five times x minus five, and plus four has not changed. Okay, so let's expand and simplify those brackets. y equals one-third x times x is x squared, x times negative five, negative five x, negative five times x, negative five x, and negative five times negative five is positive twenty-five. There, plus four. Now, negative five x minus five x, of course, I can simplify a little further, like terms, x squared minus 10x plus 25, all multiplied by one third plus four. And so we're at the place where we can expand the bracket and apply our fraction. And so this becomes y equals, and one third times x squared is one third x squared, and one third times negative 10x is negative 10 thirds x, and one third times 25 is 25 thirds. And I'm going to add four at the end, but I do know that four is equal to 12 thirds and so just turning it into something with a common denominator with 25 thirds so that I can add them, I end up with y equals one third x squared minus 10 thirds x 